I am so sorry that I have not done a video and about my sister locks anyway because I have done other updates or videos but I am so sorry I haven't done a video about my sister locks and well I didn't do a two month update so this video I am going to talk about um, my two month update and my three month update just recently did my three month retight and I went to a different loctician. I went to an actual, a trainee. Um, her name is Kayla here in the Orlando area. And she was fabulous. I really liked her. Um, she gave me a lot of information that my loctician did not give me. Okay. And information was great, even though I don't remember a lot of it. But <laughs> I, has it come I am thinking about possibly switching to her, but I'm not sure because... Uh, there are some pros and cons with my with hair. First and foremost, I figured out how to get my hair to look a little more stretched like this right now, the way it is right now. Um, and it's mainly from just not spritzing it with water as much. So I, I used to spritz it and it used to end up shrinking from the water and it used to usually kind of come up a little bit higher. But now it's kind of staying a little bit lower. Um, it is much thicker and it's only been three months. So I'm just kind of excited. I'm like, after six months, I'm going to have a lot of thickness. Good. Um, this loctician that I went to for my three-month retight, she actually did two rotations or two revolutions. And she said on some of my locks, she did three. And also, she did a reverse four. And my loctician does uh, just a four. So that's going to be interesting to see what my loctician says about it when I tell her that, you know, I went to someone else and she did a reverse for her. How do you feel about that? I wonder if that's why she ended up having it to do two rotations or two revolutions. I don't know. two month update uh, my lock session did show me how to wash my hair and it was very interesting because I you know thought with the braiding and banding that you actually had to like take you know pieces of your hair and just kind of like braid it very tight and she was like no you want to leave this part pretty loose so that you can get the scalp really good so what she did was she kind of just twisted sections of my hair, much larger sections than this. So she twisted it and and then she just banded the bottom. She just put a rubber band. And so that's what she did. And so you see all that section that's out there. She was like, that way you can kind of get in and really wash it and wash your scalp. So I did that this last time and I noticed my scalp is feeling much, much cleaner. Um, three months in and I'm not really having a lot of like itchiness and dry scalp. I just noticed actually yesterday I was in the mirror and I was looking at my scalp and I noticed how white it looked and I was like, wow, why is it so white? And then I looked closer and I noticed that it was really dry. So I took that little bottle of R.O.U. and usually I put that in water spray, but I just took that directly to my scalp and just kind of was putting it on my finger and just kind of rubbing it through. So that helped a little bit. So, but it's not really itchy. Like, I mean, I, I itch it every now and then, but it's no different than like, you know, your regular itch that you have on your regular hair. So it's not bad. So, yeah. But, um, so yeah, three months and I'm excited. My hair is getting thicker. I can do more with it now. I noticed that I, my pony, my little buns, cause I do little buns in the back like that are thicker now. And so it looks better when I, put it in a ponytail when I have it down it looks good I haven't been wearing it down as much as I was before the first two months so I've been wearing it in a low bun a lot so that's been like kind of going for me and 